Well, a beehive that's been terrorizing one West Side neighborhood may finally come down. Robert Price brought one family's repeated pleas for help to the attention of the city. He shows us what's happening now. An officer with San Antonio code enforcement marks the property line, snaps photos of the overgrown brush and lifeless trees, and pounds a pink placard in front of this vacant lot near Castroville Road in Madrid. Signs of progress set in motion, the department says, by Fox San Antonio. Late today when we got the call that there was a concern about it. All because of one beehive that sat in this tree more than a month now and led to two separate bee attacks. It's a swarm of bees. Hundreds of bees. You know, my arms, my legs. My face, my ear, my arms. The swarm, seen here last week behind the firefighter, forced police to shut down a Yende Drive and left Jacqueline Alejandro's family looking for an exterminator. It's very frustrating. You can't do it because it's on someone else's property. Turned out that hive sits just over the fence line in that vacant lot on Madrid, and no one could figure out who owns it. It's not that we don't want to pay for anything, but we, we, he can't get access to it. So the family called and emailed the city about the hive, but... It's come on deaf ears because no one's, there's no, no action taken. Now city code enforcement's listening, giving the property owner 10 days starting today. So we want to make sure that bees, which are dangerous and can be deadly, are dealt with in an appropriate manner. In addition to this notice, the city also sent a formal letter through the mail to the listed property owners, letting them know if they don't take action within those 10 days, the city will step in. Then we'll go onto the property, we'll clean it. Um, if the, bee, the bees are there, then we'll have a professional come in and remove the bees. And, um, and then we'll send them a bill. All we want is people just do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. The City Code Enforcement Department says anyone with similar concerns should call 311 to file a complaint. If they don't hear back in a timely manner, call again. And of course, we'll be sure to keep you updated with what happens in this case. In the newsroom, Robert Price, Fox News at 9.